Welcome to St. Joseph's Abbey, where they're celebrating their 125th anniversary. The Abbey was first established in uh, 1889. Uh, a group of monks came from St. Meinrid Abbey in southern Indiana. It began in a place that's now called Rosaryville, near Ponchatoula. It moved here to this location in uh, 1907. Before the monks bought the property, this was the rice plantation. Uh, the old plantation house is actually still here in existence, as is one of the slave quarters. An important part of the abbey is the church that was built in 1932. The, uh, the church was built during the Depression. So uh, this was a way of giving back to the community. There were a lot of people out of work, uh, and this provided a wonderful opportunity for people in the area to work. The beauty and history of the Abbey extends beyond its buildings and grounds. So this particular monastery has a great uh, legacy of artwork that was left here in the church and in our dining room uh, by a monk artist from, uh, from Europe, Dom Gregory de Witt. But the main mission of the Abbey is that of a religious community. The monastery here is the most important thing. It's where a group of men come together uh, to live their life uh, according to the gospel under the rule of St. Benedict. And we have a number of different um, apostolates or works that we do. The primary um, mission of the monastery or our ministry of the monastery is the seminary, is to educate young men for the priesthood. The St. Joseph's Abbey has been a seminary college for 125 years. What you might not know is that it's also a woodworking shop. A line of cypress coffins are made available to the public to help support the financial needs of the Abbey. We do the whole thing, it's a complete coffin. We, we build it from, from ground up and including the, the, the lining, the finishing, the installation of hardware, everything. It takes the volunteers about 14 hours to build each casket and they finish an average of one per day. The work that we do as far as building coffins, we do that work um, to, aid, to aid the monks in, 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 in their sustaining themselves. Uh, but also, it's, you know, to glorify God. Not only does the Abbey have a woodworking shop, but it also has a bakery which supplies bread to charities throughout the community. The bakery program uh, began actually when the monastery began. We have always made our own bread. Pennies for Bread bakes almost a thousand loaves each week and distributes them to several charitable organizations throughout the New Orleans area. Uh, what we have to do is a balance between uh, the number of monks that we have that can work with it and the place that with how many we can actually provide on a regular basis. The ministry is very proud to deliver a nutritious product to those in need. Here they're getting fresh baked bread, no preservatives, and it is a, a quality product. Through the success of cooking, carpentry, and education provided by the Abbey, it has lasted for the last 125 years. And seeing the peaceful tranquility of the grounds, there's no reason why it shouldn't have. And hopefully the rich history, culture, and services provided will allow it to thrive for another 125 years. I think this 125th anniversary gives us an opportunity just to, to share that story and, and share our many uh, resources here with others.